and stuff. Um, we are a registered 501c3, though, so we're a full-on nonprofit, and we meet on the fourth Wednesday of every month, and that's what today is. Disclaimer, it's our uh, general code of conduct in here as well. Uh, we are an educational uh, institution facilitator. We're here to teach, to learn. Uh, yeah, some of the stuff we do can be a little, you know, questionable, but that's not the point. Like, take, take stuff away to learn, right? If you do anything illegal, that's your problem. <laughs> You're not going to pin it on us. We will fight you tooth and nail. Um, code of conduct, we have like a 16-page thing on the webpage. Um, the too long, uh, didn't read of it, is don't be an ass. And that's actually is the code of conduct. Um. The 16 pages is the entire website. Uh, what constitutes being an ass? It's kind of up to the discretion of the board members, which we'll get to shortly. But, you know, just be cool, dude. Be, be uh, what is it, be excellent to each other? Um, our kind of general motto that we came up completely originally um, after stealing it from SecIC, or SecDSM, who uh, stole it from SecKC. Uh, challenge ideals, ideas, not people. So... Like, we're all smart folks, right? This is the industry that we love. We're here to, to learn about it and uh, talk and generate new ideas. If you don't agree with something, that's perfectly fine, right? That's how we change. That's how we learn. That's how we adapt. But don't agree with the thing, not the person. You know, personal attacks, it's not going to get you anywhere. Business up front, party in the back, pizza on the side, eventually. It's coming. Um, but, yeah, we'll have three. What do we got? Two talks and a tool talk tonight. Um, party in the back, we got a full bar back there. Well, mostly a full bar back there. Um, some pops and water as well. Um, tip our bar, our bar, bar lady. She's awesome. And that's that. Uh, sponsor this month, Robert Half Technology. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate it. And there are sponsorship opportunities coming up. I think next month uh, might be taken, according to Greg, so we'll have to see there. Um, tonight's agenda, you are here. This is the 101. Uh, Sec IC News is coming up. I believe Matt's doing that. And then uh, we have the, the Greg and Matt sandwich for this evening. Um, it's going to be a, a tool talk of keystrokes are belong to us with a light side of the history and evolution of Emotep. And then to finish up the course, privilege escalation techniques for Windows. Next month agenda, I don't think we have any talks submitted yet, so submit a talk. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Otherwise, you have to hear us again. But yeah, tool talks, um, fully flushed out things. You know, you guys don't have to drop O days or anything. Just come talk about something. You doing a tool, uh, learning a tool that you think is cool. I found a new technique to grab something in a file. Like, nobody cares. It doesn't have to be mind blowing. Just come and share it, right? That's how we all get better. So here we go. Something, somebody bothering you. Here's your board. Uh, it's myself, Matt, Greg, other Matt. Cody showed up, but he doesn't really count. Uh, <laughs> the other other board member, Brandon, is out in DSM. He's here every now and again, but, you know, you'll see him. Um, SecIC.org, our website. Contact at SecIC if you have any problems, if you don't feel comfortable coming up to us at the, the meeting to talk or, you know, or again, having issues with anyone, let us know. Um, so we are sec underscore IC on Twitter because apparently SecIC is a very popular surname and somebody already had that although he hasn't posted since like 2009 so whatever um and youtube i don't know are we ever going to actually get a fancy youtube name they don't care all right well we'll have a bentley link forever i guess it's cooler that way because you never know if you're going to get hacked or not um slack we're on slack it's not active. It should be active. So come join our Slack. We have like 108 people as of this morning. Um, you know, it, you just go to the website and click on it, and then you can do the Slack and thing with us. It's cool. I like it. Greg and I talk all the time. That's about it. <laughs> um, upcoming cons. CypherCon's not on here because apparently I forgot it, but CypherCon's coming up if you're into that kind of thing. Um, DakotaCon. What? Oh, I can't edit. Yeah. I'll, I'll
I'll put a, the websites right. Nice. So that's that was October of last year. Hashtag. Hashtag professionals. Um, so B sides is April twentieth apparently. Uh, I should check my reservation for that room then. <laughs> <laughs> and then Circle City Con, I am sure that that's correct, because it's always at the end of May, and it's always on my daughter's frickin' performance for dance, so I have to take hits for that, so. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Um, do you? There, sold. Done. If you don't have a ticket, great segue, we got a bunch of black badges. I mean, we have a few, not a bunch. Sec DSM has a bunch. But we're kind of grandfathered, we're a sister chapter of Sec DSM, so we're kind of grandfathered into this. Um, if you want to go check a conference out, uh, you don't have the means to, to pay for a ticket, uh, you can apply on, what's the website? Is it up here? Yeah, secdsm.org slash scholarship. Um, and any of the black badges that they have up for grabs, you can apply for and potentially can go to the con, you know, for free, which is cool. Um, and that's that's why we compete in the CTFs is to kind of pass that forward for you guys. We have two um, Wild West Hackenfest badges and something else. Gurkhan? Gurkhan? I don't remember. A Gurkhan black badge, maybe. I don't know. We got a Gurkhan black badge. Up next, Merchmonger, which it's me. And then uh, Financial Transparency, which debate will take care of. And Brenton will do the news, and everyone's doing everything with jobs at the end. I have wares if you have coins, so bring me your coins. Um, what, do we, what do we have left? I think we have some, yeah, we have some sec the, or sec IC, uh blockchains left and some patches. Stickers are up here if it's your first time uh, here this evening. Grab a sticker. Yep, blockchain. Custom made blockchains. We rolled our own crypto. Yep. Yep. The merch monger. Hello. <laughs> That's you. I'm out. All right, so like uh, Zach said earlier, we are a 501c3. If you're new tonight, uh, we do go over our finances. They are publicly available, so we're going to go ahead and roll through that. So our previous balance last month was $1,120. Uh, our expenses were always a month behind so on pizzas, so we spent $134. We did purchase two new adap adapters, a USB-C to HDMI, and another one I didn't write down. A <laughs> display port to HDMI. Uh, our income last month, uh, we had uh, $20 in donations. We really appreciate your donations. Uh, and then also Amazon Smile. If you purchase things, uh, whatever, from Amazon, uh, you can use uh, Smile, which uh, donates like 1% or 2% of your per half of a percent uh, to us. So somebody, whoever spent a bunch of money, thank you. Uh, if you'd like to donate, you can uh, come talk to one of us. If you, like uh, Matt and Zach said, you can buy a patch or a blockchain. So that puts us at a total net loss last month of $120. Uh, you will see, uh, one thing I do want to clarify, uh, I don't have income up there for the sponsor. That was because they did donate back in November, I believe, and that was added at that time. Uh, so that we have a total net loss of $120. If you can do the math, hey, that puts us at $1,000. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Around $1,000, I should say. Uh, on the left, I've been providing that graph. It's always up and down. Uh, again, if you uh, want to sponsor or you know uh, a, a business or so somebody who wants to sponsor, go to the website or, again, come talk to one of us. All right, next up is news. Yes. All right. Anybody see the uh, this person does not exist dot com? That was a uh, it's a software it's a website built to show off uh, TensorFlow AI stuff that can be done with uh, Nvidia. Uh, meet this cat does not exist dot com. So takes some uh, kind of kind of builds pictures that 
that are not real cats based off of uh, what AI thinks a cat should be. So um, I think AI is probably not quite there yet. <laughs> All right, so uh, recently it was reported um, not hard for a hacker to capsize a ship at sea. Um, this is because the uh, the systems that they use are kind of really kind of outdated and not really secured. Um, password security and patch management are so poor at sea that compromise does not require significant expertise. There's a documented, ki documented case of a kid finding a mobile drilling platform control system using Shodan and clicking buttons to see what happened. Um, and he unintentionally took the dynamic positioning system offline. Um, really, really kind of old, old messaging system, not built for security. So, um, I don't know, anyone see the movie Hackers? Kind of, kind of plot point. It's, uh, it's about, um, it's, it's about commerce and, um, unity and, and hackers. <laughs> I really liked this one. So, Nike self-lacing sneakers turn into bricks after a faulty firmware update. $350 self-lacing sneakers don't work with the official Android app. Some of the uh, some of the user comments included the first software update for the shoe threw an error while updating, bricking the right shoe. App will only sync with left shoe and then fails every time. Also, app says left shoe is already connected to another device whenever I try to reinstall and start over. And my personal favorite. My left shoe won't even reboot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so not as funny. Um, a surveillance firm recently asked Mozilla to be included in their uh, certificate whitelist. So Dark Matter is based out of the UAE, and they're kind of known for uh, doing some kind of shady things, um, selling to uh, governments that don't have the best human rights records. Um, however, Firefox is kind of put in a tough position because they have not done anything as a CA, or um, what was it? They, they have a clean history as a CA without any known abuses. So EFF, Amnesty International, and The Intercept are pushing Mozilla to decline the, the request, while on the other side, Dark Matter is arguing that it hasn't done anything to eliminate themselves as being a TLS certificate provider. Um, of course, the, the concern here is that they could have used that to uh, spy on, on users without their, their knowledge. Fair enough. Last one. Critical 19-year-old WinRAR vulnerability was disclosed last week. Um, being spotted actively in the wild, being exploited in a malvertising uh, mail spam campaign. Um, so the, the vulnerability was the absolute path traversal bug in a third-party library, uh, UNACE V2 DLL. Um, it's exploited by, by using an ACE archive, um, which is then usually disguised as another zip format, uh, zip or RAR or whatever, a different archive format. Um, allows it with sufficient privileges to, to um, traverse the directory. The, the mouse spam that was out there was actually putting, um, was establishing persistence in Windows startup and then also installing a uh, Cobalt Beacon, or Cobalt Strike Beacon. So, um, WinRAR solution. Uh, apparently they no longer have the source code for the third party library, or the third party library doesn't have the source code, so they just removed it. Um, I actually never heard of an ACE archive, and apparently nobody freaking uses them anyway, so um, they just removed it. New, new versions of WinRAR don't support it, but uh, Everything prior to the version released at the end of January is vulnerable. Every version of WinRAR going back to when it was first freaking created is vulnerable to this. So if you've got some computer that you haven't turned on in three years and it's got WinRAR, uh, don't, don't open spam with, with archives in it from random people. <laughs> All right, jobs. Anybody got a job? Everybody's got a job. <laughs>